Hey everybody, this is Shara and I've got a new project to share with you for the Wild Orchid Craft Wild Bunch and um, it's a cigar box. Looks like this. <laughs> um, this is the cigar box that I kind of started with. It's, mine's a little bit different shape. But it's all wood. My sister, oh look there's some more goodies in there too. My sister brought these back from an estate sale when she came to visit me in September. So that's what I started with. Um, I love altering cigar boxes. Ever since I was in the Secret Squirrel Sisterhood Society, we would alter um, cigar boxes all the time, and I still have a passion for doing that. So um, this is what I came up with. Uh, what I used on here is I used um, I used some old Prima paper. I used the Avenues um, by Bo Bunny. Love the paper. It is so pretty. It's really hard to cut up, but um, I did it. I did it, I did it. And of course I used some beautiful Wild Orchid Craft flowers. Um, these are flowers that I had in my stash. So I'm just gonna go ahead and share them with you real quick here. Um, and then I'll tell you really about the rest of the box. So what I used on my flowers, uh, this one right here is a mixed peach slash orange cottage rose. It's MVR044. <clears throat> the, um, leaves that I used were right here and those are MKX447 and they're the two-toned rose leaves they're 30 millimeter and I just love I love the color of them they do definitely look like rose leaves um, I used 40 millimeter mixed blue tone tea roses which are the big ones here and what I did to these little roses, I did, um, they were very, very, very close to the color of the paper, which was perfect. But I also, to give them a shabby chic kind of look, as I used some white um, gesso on the tops of them. I also used um, MKX005, and these are the pink, pale pink open roses. They're 15 and the 10 millimeter, I used both. So here's the 15 millimeter right here. And the 10 millimeter are the little small ones. And I adore these little small ones. They're so cute. Okay, and then I used, last set of flowers I used is MKX014 Ivory Open Roses. I used 10, the 15 millimeter and the 10 millimeter also on this. So the 10 millimeter are here. I'm sorry, 10, 15 millimeter here and the 10 millimeter are here. I also, these ones right here that are also 15 millimeter they were also white ones and what I did is I used um, some Mr. Huey spray that the color is called Audrey um, I mixed it and watered it down with water and it gives a very bl blue tone to it like a teal I love the color and so what I did is I just brushed some of that color onto some of the roses um, some of the I, ivory ones as well as some of the, uh, blue, the the larger some small ivory and some larger ivory so that's how I was able to change the color of my roses so um, really think the project came out really lovely I was really pleased with that um, what I have here is I have one of those um, rosette um, oh what are they called? like a fabric rosette they're kind of like shabby chic. I know they have a name. I can never remember it. Um, I, what I did is I cut it into uh, quarters. I think I used two, uh, one and a half of them, and rolled them into like a, they, they came into it like a little diamond shape, and then I rolled them together with some hot glue, and then I just tucked them into the, um, just like kind of like a filler um, to the little area. And then here I have a little metal, plate that says inspire and I have some really pretty lace back here here and here it was actually like a lo it's like a lo rose and then I cut it up and I used the leaves down here and then the rose part is right down here um, the frame is from Michaels and it was blue I'm sorry no it was bl uh, brown and what I did is I used just various different colors of paint until I got the color that I liked um, I painted a gesso, I painted a cream, I painted it um, with some more of the dot, the, the um, watered down spray 
um, from Mr. Huey. I painted it with some distress inks from Tim Holtz, both in silver and in um, an antique bronze. So basically I just experimented with paint <laughs> until I got what I liked. Um, I used some paper. This was a, one of the cutouts from the paper. And um, on the paper itself, I just used the whole sheet of paper. I added to the sides because I made a mistake and cut it too short. I added some book paper here to the sides. It was kind of like, a, oh, am I going to have to scrape it all off and start over again? I was really like dreading it because I wasn't sure how it was going to come out. I was trying to start over, but I it ended up coming out just perfect. I really liked that little added part here because I kind of carried that whole book paper thing throughout this this uh, box. So, so this kind of like makes it ties it all together, even though it was really the start of it. <laughs> so, um, and I'll show you on the inside what I mean. And then here I used a stencil. This is my little bit of mixed media. Uh, I used a stencil here and I used some um, spackling that I colored with that Mr. Huey mist. And uh, yeah, I really like the way that came out. And down here, I used some Bow Bunny, and this little guy does not want to stay down. I used some Bow Bunny uh, clocks and hands. And then this is a Maya Road little bird cage. It's a little wood wooden bird cage there. I have a little key right here that I actually got years and years ago from um, a Secret Sister Swap, and I came from Cindy Ruzick. So it's just a really pretty little, little, little key. Just like that. Okay, so on this, let me talk about my. Um, feet. What I This is the old Prima paper that I was talking about and I added some book pages here and there to it. Um, but on my feet what I did is I, I did some patina. Oops. I did some, some patina um, work here and again this was a paint experiment. I wanted to do, I was just going to do them um, white and then I didn't like the way they looked. So then I thought okay let's do them cream. Painted them cream. Didn't like the way they looked. So then I painted them with some of the Mr. Huey um, watered down Mr. Huey spray and Audrey. And I liked it and I thought, hey, that looks kind of like patina. This is going to work. So then I added, um, after I did that, then I added some, it's not, it was like a copper color. It's Miss, and I'm sorry, I don't have it out. Um, it's Tim Holtz Distress Paint and it's kind of like a, like a, it's not a bronze, but it's more copper colored. And so I just kind of like took my brush, dipped it in there in the paint, and then just kind of dabbed it on. But it looks just perfect. It's just, uh, I really, 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 really like the way the patina, there, that, look, that looks better. You can see how they look, but it's really patina. So like the way the feet came out, and I just adore these feet. Um, I would have them on everything if I could. And then on the handle here, which I did replace, was uh, a handle that I got at a um, market restoration store in Phoenix and it was black and I used kind of the same uh, patina technique to to do the same thing to this one. So the inside of the box is really simple. Um, I just used book paper to cover the inside. It really was the easiest way to do it. I, I really just just kind of like um, lost myself in tearing up <laughs> paper and gluing it down. And then I also used the book paper, let me see if you can see, along the sides here. And then I used some more of this Prima paper. And this, like I said, it's very simple. A little another one of those shabby chic rosettes. I added a little piece of bling to the middle. And then I just have a little pocket here of some lace. And um, that's pretty much the inside. I'm going to keep the inside pretty simple because uh, most of the time this is where I want to, I don't want to leave the box open. I'm going to leave it like this. So anyway, that is my box for Wild Orchid Crafts this time. Um, oh, I, I actually used some little um, small beaded trim. And I, can't, I think I got that in a little, I'm not even real sure where I got that. But anyway, um, that's my box. And be sure to check out, um, you know, uh, Wild Orchid Crafts. Their website is really, really easy to navigate now. They have a new website. And also make sure that you check out some of the fellow designers um, at the Wild Bunch. I will put some links down below, some links to um, some of the products that I use, as well as links to all of um, 
Bald Record Craft, and the Wild Bunch YouTube channel. So have a great day, and thanks again for watching, everybody. Bye!